So Vision IQ was approached by Equifax mainly to solve a couple of attribution challenges that they were having. They were looking to move away from a last ad perspective to get more of an insight around uh, the true return on investment with their cross-channel portfolio, as Equifax has a number of channels in market uh, designed to ac acquire new customers. So the ROI component of being able to measure that cross-channel component was a key part. Um, the second was to under better understand how their consumers were interacting with the brand uh, and understand what that journey looked like from stimulation to response to response value. And the third component was really, from Equifax's perspective, there was a change in business where they were looking to acquire more customers and move away from a low cost of acquisition to a much more value-based acquisition model. Our first goal was really to understand the true value of our media investments. Using a last-click methodology, we really had blinders on as to where our next dollar of investment should go. So advanced attribution would help us understand the interplay of different channels. It would help us understand the value of our mid and upper funnel investments. And also, um, mobile is so important for all of us today, really understand um, how our mobile channel was impacting our sales process as well. Just from a response perspective, the world moves at such a fast pace these days. If we aren't on this within hours of you know, opportunity in the marketplace, we've missed it. So having something that gives us the confidence to make quicker decisions as we move forward is really important as well. We've done hundreds of these over the, over the course of our life. And the recipe for, for implementation is more or less the same. Uh, we start with identifying which data channels you have in your mix and ultimately how those play a role in phasing out the implementation to reach success in the shortest period of time. So we focus on paid, earn and own channels, really in that, sometimes in that order. Um, and then basically try to understand what do your KPIs look like? What are the objectives you're trying to optimize towards as an organization? and run through a series of, of workshops and so forth to get alignment within the organization to, to basically get there. And uh, at that point, we're ready to kind of ingest the data and run the attribution model on top of that and uh, really make the data much more consumable for different stakeholders within the organization. So from executives to channel owners, uh, everybody consumes attributed metrics in a much more different fashion. But I'll let Terry address the, uh, the insights that they learned from the system. So some of the insights that we've learned from our implementation of the Visual IQ platform. Uh, the first one is our impression to conversion window is much longer than we originally thought. It's about 60 days um, with our advanced attribution data. Using last click that would have been a day or two based on channel differences. So that's a, a big game changer from us from how we look at and um, optimize our media. Advanced attribution has also validated our assumptions around a last click model. Uh, touch points earlier in a customer journey have been undervalued. Touch points early in the conversion process are undervalued. Um, search, paid search in particular, touch points um, are overvalued by about 30%, so we've made significant shifts in our investment mix there. We were really looking at results to come in the way of media savings. However, in order to get there, we did put a test plan in place early on to validate the results of the readouts that we were getting from the Visual IQ platform. And we did see an early 10% lift, which was in line with our expectations. And that was what we used to fund savings moving forward. And we were able to save um, approximately $1.2 million in media savings in the first nine months. So the future of attribution at Equifax is a bright one. Uh, first of all, we need to move to a financial source of truth based on advanced attribution versus the last click attribution we've had previously. We also need to look at cross-device attribution. That will be important because mobile is a key driver of our business growth. We also need to take a look at automation tools um, to make it faster and easier for our agency teams to implement our optimizations. And we'd also like to add lifetime value and um, audience segments into the platform so that we can look at the value of our um, conversions, not just the number of conversions that we bring in. And then finally, we'd like to implement advanced attribution across three different countries. I think it's important for every marketer to understand that uh, attribution uh, can have a tremendous impact on their business. If you're, if you're a marketer involved with anything from a cross-channel basis, cross-channel marketing campaigns, attribution has uh, will have a tremendous benefit on your business both from being able to identify efficiency gain as well as conversion gain 
And this in itself is a, is a huge uh, value prop, obviously, to embrace uh, attribution, a multi-touch attribution, and, and sort of forego the last ad way of looking at the world. The other side is you don't have to kind of eat the elephant in one bite. You can take small steps. You can take a phased approach to implementing your solution. Start with your paid channels, then slowly increment that to your own channels, your own channels. But at the end of the day, putting some of these learnings into market from your attribution platform, from a measurement perspective as well as from an optimization perspective, could very take very sort of baby steps. You could have you could start with uh, frequency capping. You could start with what we call intra-channel based optimization. So within a channel, take specific recommendations, put those in market, and slowly migrate to a place where your entire organization is embracing this from a cross-channel optimization perspective. And I think if you want more information, we have a ton of white papers and case studies available on our website at visualiq.com.